In a secluded monastery nestled between towering mountains, Brother Arjun was known for his serene demeanor. Yet, beneath his calm exterior lay a deep-rooted fear of the dark woods that encircled their sanctuary. These woods were dense, whispering age-old secrets with each rustle of leaves and stirring shadows at dusk. Legends from his childhood painted these woods as haunted, inhabited by restless spirits and lurking shadows. As twilight descended one evening, Brother Arjun found himself drawn toward the edge of the looming forest. A ceremonial duty required a monk to deliver sacred offerings at a stone shrine deep within the woods. It was Arjun's turn. With the last shades of sunset grazing the sky, he hesitated, battling his own heart's turmoil. Brother Ananda, an elder and wise mentor, approached him, sensing his unease. Fear is but a fog, Arjun, clouding the path that is already known to you, Ananda advised with a gentle smile. With a deep breath, Arjun tightened his robe and stepped onto the shadowed path each step heavy with the weight of unseen fears. The trail twisted and turned, the dense canopy above casting eerie shapes upon the ground. Shadows loomed larger than life, fueling his trepidation. Yet, he remembered Ananda's words and focused on his breath, each inhale and exhale a step closer to tranquility. Suddenly, the path opened into a moonlit clearing, where the stone shrine stood ethereal and ancient. His heart calmed, Arjun placed the offerings, bowing in solemn reverence. It was in this solitude, embraced by the very shadows he feared, that he found an unexpected clarity. In a serene monastery nestled among ancient mountains, Brother Jin, a wise and humble monk, observed how often the young novices struggled with their daily tasks and internal conflicts. He decided to share a story with them, hoping it would provide guidance. Gathering the novices in the tranquil courtyard, Brother Jian began. Once, there was a village plagued by a mighty river. Every year, the river would flood, and the villagers lived in constant fear. They saw the river as an insurmountable problem much like the difficulties you face each day. He paused, letting the gentle breeze carry away the weight of his words. One day, a traveler arrived. He watched the villagers struggle and asked them, why do you not cross to the other side? They replied, the river is wide and dangerous, and we lack the means to build a bridge. The traveler nodded, understanding their plight, but he didn't see the river as a problem rather an opportunity. Let's build a raft, he suggested. Brother Jin continued, his voice steady and calm. The villagers were doubtful, but decided to try. They gathered wood, worked together, and crafted a sturdy raft. With the traveler's guidance, they learned to navigate the river, turning what was once a perceived barrier into a pathway. Their village prospered, no longer at the mercy of the seasons. The young monks listened intently as Brother Jian concluded his tale. When faced with problems, much like the villagers, we often see only the obstacles, petrified by their magnitude. But by changing our perspective, recognizing opportunities instead of immovable walls, we discover solutions hidden in plain sight. Embrace the challenges, work together, and make the river your way. The novices, inspired by the story, began to reflect on their own struggles with renewed insight. Brother Jin's words lingered in their minds, a guiding light helping them to navigate the rivers of their own lives, one raft at a time. In a serene monastery nestled in the lush mountains of Nepal, there lived a young monk named Narayan. Known for his wisdom and kindness, Narayan still harbored a flaw, his constant battle with procrastination. While his fellow monks diligently attended to their duties, Narayan often found himself lost in daydreams, putting off his studies and chores. One day, the head monk, 
Master Li noticed Narayan lagging behind. Master Li was a wise and compassionate teacher, understanding that the key to overcoming such obstacles lay in self-discovery. He approached Narayan, who was gazing wistfully at the horizon, and said, Narayan, would you accompany me on a journey up the mountain? Narayan eagerly accepted, thrilled to escape his routine. They set off at dawn, the crisp air revitalizing Narayan's spirit. As they climbed, Master Li engaged Narayan in conversation about the surrounding nature, the birds, and the sounds of the monastery fading into the background. But soon, Narayan began to complain of exhaustion. They were only halfway up, and the peak seemed impossible to reach. Let's rest for a moment, Narayan suggested, sitting down without waiting for a response. Master Li nodded, settling beside him. He pointed to a small plant growing stubbornly between two rocks. Do you see that plant, Narayan? It's a master of persistence. Despite the obstacles, it grows bit by bit. It doesn't delay its growth, nor does it hurry. Realizing the metaphor, Narayan pondered the nature of his procrastination, a series of delays and unreachable mountains he created in his mind. It wasn't about racing to the top, but taking steady steps like the plant. Renewed with this insight, Narayan suggested they continue. This time, he focused on each step, enjoying the journey, rather than stressing over the peak itself. When they finally reached the summit, the view was breathtaking. Masterly smiled warmly. Every great journey begins with a single step, and it's those steps that define us. From that day forward, Narayan approached each task with mindfulness, treating them like steps up the mountain. He found joy in the process, overcoming procrastination by embracing each moment with purpose. Thus, the young monk learned the art of balancing patience and progress, becoming a beacon of inspiration for others in the monastery. Narayan's journey was not just up the mountain, but towards understanding and conquering within. In a serene monastery nestled in the mountains, Brother Tashi was known to be one of the most distracted monks. Though his heart was pure, his mind often wandered during meditation drifting away like clouds over the mountaintops. He sought advice from the wise Abbot Sangha, who had a reputation for profound insight. Abbot, Tashi confessed, I struggle to keep my mind focused. The noise in my head is louder than the silence around me. Abbot Sangha nodded knowingly and decided to teach Tashi through experience. He asked Tashi to accompany him to a nearby village that was holding a festival. Amidst the vibrant colors, joyous music, and enticing aromas of street food, Tashi's senses were overwhelmed. He was constantly drawn to the sights, sounds, and smells around him. Tashi, the abbot said, handing him a simple task. I want you to carry this full cup of water through the festival and not spill a single drop. Keep your focus only on this cup. Tashi took the cup and as he walked through the bustling crowd, he fixated on the water surface. Each step required precision, demanding his complete attention. Slowly, he tuned out the distractions around him, his world narrowing to the rhythm of his steps and the steady surface of the cup. Once they returned to the monastery, the abbot asked, Tell me, Tashi, what did you see at the festival? Tashi thought for a moment and replied, I saw nothing except the water in the cup. The abbot smiled patiently and said, You see, Tashi, focus is not about eliminating distractions, but choosing what to concentrate on, much like you did with the cup of water. 